In life in Italy, our property would have been under the ground many, many, many years ago. In our country, we would live like a, like a flies, like we all work together. We didn't have nothing. We didn't have absolutely nothing. The provinces is have a lino, but our resident was a Logosano. We used to have a f three farms mm -hmm. and producing a lot of grapes, wheat and um, sweet corns. I remember, well, sort of remember, the, the last war, the 1939, when I said I was only about 12 months old and the war finished about 1945. But during the war, the things was very, very aggressive. Mm. I remember mum, uh, when I was a little, and he used to wrap me up on the blankets, and all I can see at night and die, 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 die at night was, was a lot of bombarding. Not shooting, but it plying, aeroplane flying around, and it's just, uh, so we would leave most of the time hide yourself under, uh, uh, they used to call them uh, uh, tunnel. My, my dad had a friend in Australia, a very, very close friend. He said, why don't you come to Australia and uh, stay with us? Make me more happy. We left at Logosano mm -hmm. and we get the train from uh, Loco Santo Naples to get the ship. 20th March 1953 and I arrived to Australia the 20th April. So it took a whole month. 19, 29 days. We had the toughest, roughest sea I can ever forget it. <laughs> they used to go outside and they used to spew it <laughs> into the sea. Never have in my life I ever got sick from a ship because I had my own medicine what to take, <laughs> lemon. And uh, with that bit green too, so we just uh, let him ripe a bit more. This one is ready to pick, they're not bad, but they're sad. How do you pick it? The teeth? They're sad because they got, this still they got two in one. They got mandarins and oranges. <laughs> They shouldn't be together, they should be separate. But I like them. When we arrived to, now they call them, uh, they call them uh, Dockland. And when we arrived with the ship, 1953, that ship, they're still there. 14, 13 and 14 ship. I'm always, remember we were, when we docked there now, and that ship had been there now for the last 63 years, they haven't, they haven't never pulled down. I spent uh, in Melbourne from 1953 to 1954. And the end of 1954, my dad's friend found a pine decorator. He was come from Naipaul. And he wants someone to hand, to give a hand to, to do the painting. When I come back to Melbourne, I was a night school. I went for another six months, night school to learn English. Okay. I met Nono in a factory where I was working in, um, I must have been about 18 or 17 and a half. Well, he did have an eyes on me, but I used to annoy him. What are you, what are you doing? I'm drinking a cup yeah. of coffee. Yes, yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah, but it's not even a cup. I went to do shopping in Oakley to do my weekly shopping, you know, stuff like that. And when I turned around, I had a look, he was on the bus chasing me. So when I saw him, I just immediately ran into the shop and made sure he couldn't catch me. We used to work together at the same place and then he asked me, he came to ask Nonna if I was allowed to go out with him. I mean, I was not allowed to go out with him, but I was allowed to see him. And that was our love affair. And 
in nine months, we got married. In ten and years, yeah. I had four, four children. And I've been with her for the last 53 years. What was it like going back and seeing where you came from? Well, it was a, wasn't a really pleasant because when I left Italy from here, I knew it the moment I stepped on the plane and got back to my own village, I sort of had a, an idea what I was going to go through with them. Because I never ever trust them, them people because they want more and more all the time. They're never happy. They only care about themselves. They see you on the road, on the street, say, who is he? What is he doing here? What he doesn't go back to Australia? So I was happy to be in, the, in this country. Mm -hmm. Very, very happy. Matter of fact, when I come back to Australia, the next day, I went to the church to get a bunch of flowers and I thank, thank God brought me back to Australia again. My grandchildren, my first priority, they make me very, very happy. Even when I, when I don't feel well, when I feel a bit unhappy, when I see someone knock on the door, or oh, the grandchildren come back alive again, like, uh, like a flowers. When it dies, opens it up again. I think it, it was a good decision to move to Australia. Yeah, 100%.